Three, two, one. Welcome, welcome to an episode of B Rad's Business Reviews. Ooh, look, I got a little, a little sauce on me. All right, today's episode, I've got a veteran owned and operated business. Let me, let's, uh, I've got a little card over here that I forgot to get out. All right. I'm kind of doing a two for one in the reviews. I've got a veteran owned and operated hot sauce business called the General's Hot Sauce. All right. Let's, uh, let's get down with reading the, they give you a, a nice little card and it tells you all about the hot sauces. Um, let me just go over the bottles real fast. Okay, I've got Shockwave, comes with a little tag and it says 86% Peppers Veteran Owned. We donate to the cause, American Grown. And what they mean by that is they use um, local, local, um, the next one is called Marine Green. Of course, you know, as a Marine, I'm a little partial to that one. Um, and then we got Dead Red, and they all come with this, uh, very attention to detail, these little dog tags. You know, it comes in a grenade and everything, and uh, I really love the attention to de t detail that this business business does here. Let's get this back. No more problems with the cameraman because he doesn't slip and slide all the way around. You know, since I've got a little bit of an upgrade. All right, now the General's Hot Sauce, I believe, came in. What I could find out, I believe, they, they've been in business not for very long. I think since 2014, so roughly about five years. And uh, it's actually owned owned by veterans. And the main veteran is actually uh, currently serving in the military, so they don't give his name. But uh, Smoke Hall uh, Foods, L3C, a veteran-owned small business, was established in 2012. I'm sorry, 2012. At a tailgater, like most companies, uh, and set out to achieve exactly three things. Make the absolute highest quality of all nature hot sauce without cutting any quarters. Thank you, Johnny Walker Blue Scotch. Support the American farmer and protect product quality by growing all our own peppers in the, the U.S. That's right, every single pepper. Uh, create employment opportunities for, for and donate a meaningful percentage of our profits to military and veteran families. We try to do things the right way. We care about our customers. We find people smarter than us and we listen, listen to them. We think about team more than we think about self. We cherish words like integrity, respect, honor, and accountability. We have a highly disrespect for lazy, and no one has more fun than we do. Each bottle of the General's Hot Sauce is all natural and contains 86% actual peppers. Most of our sauces are 20% at best. Other sauces are 20% at best. Uh, many great chefs told us to focus on two things, fresh ingredients, Simply prepared, no thickeners, no preservatives. We have a simple philosophy, grow great peppers and get out of their way. We study and employ biological sustainable growing uh, practices. We uh, we're proud of the fact that there are no mystery chemicals being sprayed on our peppers. I'm sorry, I can't, uh, I can't actually read. Um, it's all about the details. We rinse every pepper before it gets gets ground into mash. No dirt, no branches, no leaves. We garden peppers the same same day they're picked. It's hard work, but it's worth it. The pepper mash is stored in our aging house until it's ready to filter, blend, and bottle. Some things can't be rushed. Uh, the General's Hot Sauce has a two-year shelf life and does not need to be refrigerated, but it's okay to do so if you prefer. Also, 
given that our sauce is so thick and based on popular demand, we're finally moving away from the flow restrictors in the bottom bottles. You're welcome. That's a nice little story. It gives a breakdown of how they grow their peppers, donating to veteran communities, hiring veterans, uh, using the best ingredients, and that 86% pepper versus uh, regular store-bought, maybe like Frank's Red Hot, which I love, is only 20% hot sauce. Um, and let's go over, I, I got the, the Dead Red, Marine Green, and Shockwave. They also got a Danger Close and a Maple Mayhem, uh, which the Maple Mayhem sounds absolutely fantastic. This is all natural habanero and fused pure Vermont maple syrup is the perfect balance of sweet and heat. Maple glazed salmon, chicken, and waffles, grilled Brussels sprouts, or caramelized pork chops. Possibilities are endless. Medium. It's got a medium heat, I guess. And they don't really give the Scovilles on this. I don't know. I suppose if you uh, called up there, maybe they could give the Scovilles or something. I don't know for those interested in a Scoville. A Scoville is in, uh, there's people that don't believe this, but Scoville is an actual uh, heat chart that that judges the, the heat of the pepper in a scientific manner. It was uh, the, the creator of it. His name was Scoville. And back in the day, believe it or not, there was five of them, five of them that sat and ate hot things. And they, I guess by the heat in their mouth, that's what they said. Okay, this one has 3,000 Scovilles. Okay, but people think this is a mythological or something, uh, just some fictitious number and stuff, um, but it's not. Scovilles are real. Um, most peppers are sent off to like University of South Carolina or something. They actually test them in a lab to see what the heat is. And I know when you get into, they got a, they, the, the creator of the Carolina Reaper, uh, he uh, crossbred peppers to make an even hotter one than that called Pepper X. And, um, you know, they're in the millions of Scoville. And uh, I, mean, I know people are like, well, why can't you just, just say five or something, you know, you know, or scale one to ten. I, I mean, I don't know the answer to that. I do know a little bit something about hot sauce because I did. I actually did a report on hot sauce, and I, I'm a hot sauce fan, dude. Who doesn't like a good hot sauce, man? I I like the you know the cayenne pepper sauce, the the gosh dang uh, you know cayenne pepper sauce, which really uh, what is that Tabasco makes? Frank's Red Hot is another cayenne pepper. Um, uh, Sriracha. I love Sriracha, man. I mean, it's good shit. Now let's get on with some of the ones. Okay, I'm just going to go from my left to the right. I showed you a little brief video. The Shockwave is a sauce, no joke, sweet citrus notes at first, then count to five and the habanero heat boom hits you. Big flavor, big heat. Try the dressing and sauces. Ideal in chili too. Very hot. Now, I can tell you right now, I'm not smelling any of the habanero or any of that and that matter of fact i do not care for the smell of it now the taste is a different story okay and then we got marine green made from stubborn aged green cayennes that refuse to turn red carries a unique extra tangy flavor that requires slightly less vinegar perfect for the breakfast table now that does smell like it has a vinegary uh you know that that kind of uh tangy smell to it and then the dead red, made from ripe red uh, cayenne's classic balance of authentic aged cayenne flavor and heat. The ultimate all-purpose sauce, medium. Now, it doesn't smell like uh, like a Tabasco or Frank's, but we'll see. Now, I thought with this, if anyone watches a show called Hot Ones, I'm sure it is because it's one of the number one it's not the number one, but it is in the top YouTube uh, videos. You know, it's uh, where they have hot wings and even hotter questions. My name's Sean. Hey, you were in third grade and uh, you asked a girl named Cindy Smith out. Uh, how, did she give you that? Yeah, yeah. 
great show. I'm not making fun of it, but if you're going to do, if you're going to do a show and invite a lot of, I don't say invite a lot of, uh, what do you call it? Uh, YouTube, other YouTube channels. Okay. I have no problem with that. Like the last one, I didn't mind. The guy was actually a good, uh, person to be on there. But some celebrities, athletes, rock stars, musicians, they get on there and they don't like the heat. You know, like DJ Khaled. Jeez, made it through the third one. Get the fuck out of here. You know, you know what you're doing. All right? So stop being a wuss. You know, so I, I wanted, since this was hot sauce, I wanted to do my own version of kind of hot ones. But I just have three to taste. And the wings came from Buffalo Wings and Rings. Now, this is a new franchise in my area, in Wichita, Kansas. And the only other competition really was, uh, uh, the only competition, or the only place in town that had, like, wings and sauces and stuff was Buffalo Wild Wings until now. Now, I've been disgruntled at Buffalo Wild Wings for a while because of their poor service they're uh, constantly ever-changing um, food. Sometimes you get it and the chicken is almost raw. I mean, how do you screw up the chicken when it's your business? That's what you serve, it's chicken. You should never have an undercooked chicken in my, if you're gonna have a restaurant at all, you don't have it, have it at all. Here, let's take a break. I'm, I'm freaking long-winded with this, but let's take a little sip of the Liz Slinger, another veteran. I felt I should be drinking a better known beer with a better known hot sauce. And who knows, maybe there's a veteran that owns Buffalo Wings and Rings. But the quality of chicken and shit coming from the Wings and Rings, hands down, I'm not going to go back to Buffalo Wild Wings unless it's to cash in some of my points. All right, let's get on to it. I'm going to eat the hot one first. I'm curious. All right, let's go ahead and give the shockwave, the General's hot sauce, shockwave. Let's give it a, let's give it a, here. Some of the sauce kind of soaked in already. I don't know, it's uh hold on. It's really hot. I'm not tasting the habanero, but it, the heat is no joke. The heat's pretty fucking hot. So. They accomplished that. Woo. That heat's hot. Yabba dabba do, man. Woo. It's, uh. Let's read this again. Um, I'm not tasting the habanero. I'm tasting a lot of heat, but maybe not the habanero. Or maybe that is a habanero. All right, let's go on to another one. It's not bad. It's extremely hot. So when they say it's no joke, it's hot. It's 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 pretty pretty warm. Let's have another. Eat. All right, we're going on. Going on to uh, Marine Green. All right. I'm going to put another little dab on there because kind of soaked up. I've, I've had these ready for a minute.
I mean, you can taste that. Uh, this is the green onions that don't turn red. Um, <clears throat> has that green taste, like, you know, a green bell pepper. Or, uh, well, I call it bell pepper, but a, a, a green pepper. It has that flavor to it. So if you like that flavor, it's not bad. I mean, I'm more into hot sauces that have a little bit of, not just heat to them, but uh, just different flavors. You know, I like the pineapple mango, the peach mango at Buffalo Wings of Rain. All right, that one's not as hot. Let's go with the dead red. Dead red does have that more of a classic type of cayenne pepper taste. But it's got that medium, medium flavor to it. And I guess probably I shouldn't have started off with the hot one first. Um, because I honestly think I kind of like the hot one better. Uh, I like the shockwave. It's make my nose run. Uh, the marine green. The dead red. I, I think I would go with the shockwave. I hate to say this. The dead red. And then the marine green. Um, I think this, uh, company has a lot going for it, it has great attention to detail. I like the fact that they're sourcing, you know, with local, local farmers, uh, they grind their peppers that day, put them into the sauce. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, and I love the fact that they send you a card and, and, and they give you the rundown about their product, about their company and the actual flavors on there. And they had so much attention to detail. Then uh, the box had a little piece of camo wrapping paper on the top, which I thought that was kind of cool. So great job, General's Hot Sauce. Um, and that's kind of like my Hot Ones edition, you know, where I have hot wings and even hotter questions, which I have no questions at all for you. But... There you go. Um, buffalo wings and rings. I'm not disappointed with the chicken wing. It was cold because I, I like the boneless. I don't make as much of a mess. But I kind of wanted to do that hot one episode and hot ones. There is uh, a guy named Furious Pete on there. Once you have Furious Pete on there, he's a competition food eater. And I know my 46 subscribers that I'm up to. Um... Come on, man. Right into Hot Ones. Tell him. Furious Pete. And there's another guy. I forget his name right now. But he does uh, on how to uh, ferment things. And he had one on how to make his own beer. Um, God, I forget his name. But he's another one that was like, hey, I want to be on Hot Ones. Get that guy. Get Furious Pete. Get these guys that know food, man. Get, stop getting these, these girls... Like, Rachel Ray was one of the best ones, I, I thought. Um, Jada DePeakett Smith was another good one. Um, Kristen Bell, you know, so I guess females aren't uh, horrible on that show. It's just some were a little disappointing and stuff. But, um, Thank you for watching this angry channel, B Rats Consumer Business Reviews. <sighs> Support better known businesses. I can tell you this much it's hard when you get out. Sometimes you have no direction, you don't know what you're going to do. Sometimes you can't even pay the bills. Okay, I've been down that road. Uh, luckily, uh, things kind of after 40. 48 years um, uh, I didn't give up and things kind of smiled a little bit better for me things looking looking up for me so um, never give up if you have a problem something I start my uh, 
of Beer and Booze with B-Rad is uh, 22 Veterans Died Day to PTSD Suicide. So if you know someone suffering from PTSD, anxiety, depression, they kind of run hand in hand. Reach out to that individual. Just listen to them. Maybe take them out to eat. Simple. Call them up and say hi. A smile. A handshake. Hold the door open for somebody. Just simple random acts of kindness could change that person's day could change that person's life so just be kind to each other there's enough hate and anger out there um i can tell you this much i was judged once upon a time and uh i almost lost everything that i had all because someone misinterpreted um what I had said so hang in there don't ever give up I'm not giving up I only got 46 subscribers but those 46 subscribers call in the hot ones maybe get this maybe get this hot sauce on the show I mean that'd be freaking awesome for a better own business and everything um I've been rambling and rambling on and I know Mississippi Rad's like god dang what the fuck is he doing there in there but oh what a great great uh taste test two great products even you know the lead slinger is growing on me a little bit even though i'm going to say this and say this again the lager had a bready yeasty taste to it so i don't know if it was their strand of yeast or what they use but a little tweaking of the recipe and i'm sure it'll be great just like their whiskey is just like uh, their coffee is and everything that Matt Best and all the guys that he is in business with have touched. I mean, these are veterans that are uh, setting great role of, uh, examples for the younger uh, veterans out there getting out. You know, hey, hang in there and don't give up on your dreams. Uh, Rudy Reyes is another one. Dakota Meyer. Medal of Honor recipient, uh, Kyle Carver, Medal of Honor recipient. A lot of veterans out there doing positive things for the veteran community. Um, another guy that's not as possible uh, as popular, but he, he tries to be a positive influence in the veteran community. Aaron Childress, uh, he's on Instagram. Check his shit out. Um, a lot of positive stuff. So just follow that. And um, I'm I'm fucking really excited that uh, I got to try this hot sauce, man. It's uh, it's truly unique, and it's uh, not a bad product at all. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel because we are so angry. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe, leave me a message, whatever. I'll give you a shout out next time, maybe in my beer review or even the business review but thank you very much and thank you to my friends and family Arr, super motherfucker fire